but once again, you do your calculations. You're uh, looking at 350. The numbers will look really good because also a two bedroom flat, this one is going to be stolen for 400 pound a month. My luck. So, and I have a title. It's pretty young, so somebody young went nuts. Unlikely. So, there's a good thing about it. It was bought for 73,000. Do a bit of do a bit of pastime, then I would certainly go for it. But it's not I don't I don't want to to do a bit of pastime, so I just leave it and uh, leave it for someone else to uh, to go for it. But once again, if you do your calculations, you're uh, looking at three hundred and fifty rental income. Yeah. New mills. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm sure it's gonna let, but it's not very, very high demand. Again, I think it's a good security. Put your money there, and it, you know that it's gonna get let. Um, the money's gonna work, uh, but you really you have to spend more money on it. And um, yeah, a security. It's not bad, but it's not a game changer. And. If you're buying it in a company name, company's name, it's not going to be straightforward for you to uh, go and uh, war against it. So um, that's one of the reasons why I'm not buying it. Because I'm, I'm looking more at buying something that is uh, it's more of a game changer, um, like an HMO, uh, at a low price, I refurbish it, and then all of a sudden I get an income of 1800 or something of the sort versus uh, only 350 um, because also with the HMO I can remortgage pull the money out and, re and do it all over again with this it's going to be a bit uh, more difficult so um, this is why I, I'll leave it but this house was was uh, this, this flat was something that is rare to, 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 to get at this price 7.5 7 in total spending 11, 11 odd, 12 actually, 12,000 for it. It's not too bad, but you still have to spend more money on it anyway. So you'll end up very likely um, investing all in all 20,000 by the end of it. So it's not, it's not literally a steal. So yeah, it's not. It's not a bad place to put £20,000 or £25,000 depending on how much you're going to end up spending but um, it's not a game changer, it's something that you collect. If you've got spare cash, you just want to do a, a little project, you do that and you're going to get your £300 a month to do that job, so not bad. £300 per, for life. But then the problem I've got with it is the, the, um, the, the power of the problem about not being able to refinance. Sorry, I'm a bit, a bit tired. The problem with this this house is that this flat is only a flat, right? There's a good thing about it. It was bought for seventy three thousand, and now it's sold. It's a giveaway. Uh, from the bank. Uh, the problem is I haven't, there hasn't been viewings in it and it seems as if um, there is big structural problems there but it's, it's difficult to tell what the problems are. Um, it doesn't say anything as what it is. Um, so if I can show you. Give you a background. Um, this is uh, so, so 
again, it has been uh, sold um, with a mortgage for £73,000 in 2008. Um, just the, the numbers will look really good because also a two bedroom flat, this one is going to be stolen for £400 a month. So once it's finished of course. And it's a high demand area, it's a high demand area. So this title is good on paper. Now, the only drawback with this is that there hasn't been viewings with it. So I've looked at the legal pack and it's saying that the floor has been splitting. Now, I suspect there could be some major subsidence to it. So there's a big risk in here. Now, what is the worst case scenario? The worst case scenario is that you buy it, you just go, go visit it and you realize that it's either beyond repair, there's nothing you can do, or it's gonna take loads of thousands of pounds to repair it properly. Um, so it's high risk from, from this point of view. So how do you measure that risk? I'd say if, I'm, if I've got loads of money, and I'm playing at the moment, I'd say five, four, five thousand pounds, I'll take it. But if you're in the game of, because this is a, is a Russian roulette, this one, but what is the upside? The upside is only four thousand pounds a month. So, um, by the look of it, if there's no subsidence, you're looking to spend in the region of ten thousand minimum. So. Uh, I foresee that this is not, although the area is, is in high demand, it's not going to go for a huge price. It's too much risk. So, and the risk is measured by the, and there's no home report either. So, I don't understand, so I don't understand why it's been sold this way, with no viewings whatsoever. So, um, it's high risk. So, my, my take is, Look at all the bids. I said for 1000, I'll take it. So 1000, then have to spend 2400, so 3000 in odds, so make it 4000, total 5000 pounds. One way or another, I'm going to make 5000 pounds back, and then I'll just play my luck. So, and I have a title. Now, the problem is there's going to be cancel tax attached to it, so. So, if I don't do anything with it, I'm gonna pay for council tax forever. So that's another thing. So yeah, it is always good to view them. So to me, you just uh, have to to go to the on uh, to the phone button, see what it is like, and yeah. Again, this is not a game changer. It's not huge cash flow. It's only four hundreds through the agent, and you're gonna get three fifteen in your pocket a month once it's finished. But one really thinks and scratches his head: Why, after stripped everything, there's no logic to that. Maybe the guy who owned it has gone nuts, but. Guy's pretty young. Looking at the title, the, the guy who bought it is pretty young. So somebody young going nuts, unlikely. So I suspect some subsidence or something of the sort. 